Hey guys, Danny here. I have a big one today. I've got the Marshall Stanmore 3 in the cream color. I'm really excited about this guy, so let's check it out. Yes, I just smelled it. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. Oh, ah, oh, wow. Ooh, that's, that's a beautiful speaker right there. <laughs> that thing that is nice looking. So this is the middle of the range Stanmore 3. You're getting a bass reflex speaker with one 50 watt woofer in the middle and then two 15 watt tweeters on the side for a total of 85 watts of smooth buttery Marshall sound that can fill your living room any day. It's pretty popular because it's not quite that much bigger than the Marshall Acton 3 here, yet it produces quite a bit more sound. In terms of inputs, Marshall was kind enough to leave a 3.5 millimeter aux input there for lossless audio quality. And on the back, you've also got RCA inputs. So if you're a record player, then you can do your traditional sound listening that way. And of course, you're gonna get Bluetooth with this, but not just any Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.2 which is going to enhance the quality of all audio you get using the LC3 codec, and it shouldn't have any problems multi-streaming to other speakers. This one should be able to do it through just Bluetooth. You get your absolutely stellar flip toggle switch there for on and off. You get a play, pause, forwards and rewinds button there, which is super nice. I think the fabric on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I really like that they reduced the size of the gold trim down here. It's a little bit more subtle, and I just think it's a better understated fashion look. So we'll go ahead and do a sound test with the Marshall Stanmore here and see how it compares to the Woburn and a few other speakers I had laying around to see where it kind of stacks up. Honestly, I will say this, the loudest speaker here, the best sounding speaker here is still the Marshall Woburn. Now, how much of a step down is the Stanmore from the Woburn? This is a great speaker, but it is a step down from the Woburn because it only has three speakers, whereas the Woburn has one, two, three, four, five, six little speakers built into here. It's just, it's gonna have a more full sound. So it's, it's a significantly different experience. In terms of how the Stanmore here compares to the Acton, I actually, even though this is an 85 watt speaker and this is only 45 watts, I don't detect to my ears a 
really huge difference in sound. There definitely is a difference. I would only step up to the stand more if uh, you like this size and form factor. I wouldn't say that stepping up to the size is going to make it that much bigger of a sound. Like it's not going to be the same as if you're stepping up from the Acton to the Wilburn. That's a huge difference in sound. The Acton to the Stanmore, it's a little bit less. What really surprised me was how similar the Stanmore sounds to the Tufton. Honestly, I think the Tufton sounds just as loud as the Stanmore. This is an 80 watt speaker. The Stanmore is 85 watts. They sound pretty comparable to me. I would probably pony up the extra bucks and get the Tufton here, unless you really like the form factor and the way the Stanmore looks, which I think a lot of people like the Stanmore because it's kind of that middle of the road in price, size, and sound quality. Overall though, I definitely love all of these way more than I like the two series versions. I, I was not as huge of a fan of the two series of the Homeline stuff. The three series is up and above way beyond. Is the Stanmore 3 the best buy out of, out of all these speakers? That's kind of hard to say because they're all pretty expensive. In terms of sound quality, I feel like the Acton sounds just as good. It just doesn't have quite as much oomph as the Stanmore, but nothing has as much oomph as the Woburn. It's just, that's still gonna blow you out of the water. If it were me and I had to choose two speakers here, I'd probably choose the Woburn to stay at home for my ultimate sound experience and then the Tufton for my outdoors experience because it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it provides everything the Stanmore does, but it has the portability. Marshall's been stepping up the speaker game. These all sound real good, but it's probably still gonna be a hard choice for you to make. So let me know in the comments what you think. I hope that, uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. So I will see you later. Bye.